It's so interesting that a seemingly unimportant question made me stumble upon a problem that affects us all without even realizing it. For the last few weeks, I've been trying to understand what kind of content I want to create here on YouTube and it had left me feeling stuck because I couldn't find an answer. I've been trying to find an identity for myself, but do I actually need one? Maybe I'm just making everything much more complicated than it needs to be. The thing is, I never had this problem before, especially at the beginning. Back then, ideas were flowing to me at all times, and I was accepting them. I had no expectations and went in with an open mind, creating anything that inspired me at the time. I was an explorer, testing different approaches, filming in various environments, and enjoying the process along the way because it all felt like play to me. I think that could be the answer, or at least part of it, but it's not only for my YouTube question. I'm starting to think that a lot of us are unknowingly limiting our full potential and enjoyment of life. In our search for self-discovery, we often fall into the trap of defining and categorizing ourselves. We seek to fit into these preconceived boxes, hoping that it would help us understand more about ourselves and find a community that we would fit into. While it's a natural and necessary part of becoming a unique individual, it can become an obstacle when it doesn't align with the life we aspire to create. The problem is that our identity is heavily shaped in our early years by external influences like societal expectations, cultural norms and pressure from our family. An ego then forms around it, which we try to satisfy our whole lives, resulting in unnecessary boundaries that limit our potential for growth and exploration. You probably have some standards that you never really imposed on yourself and might be living someone else's life without even realizing it. But beliefs are not facts. They're just assumptions. This is why it's so important to constantly challenge them. To understand if they came from an authentic place and currently benefit you in any way. At the same time, I actually believe we have many identities. The person we are, the one we aspire to be and the thousands that exist in the minds of other people. But only one of them can be truly authentic, right? Yet this true identity, if there even is one, cannot be captured in words and definitions. It's a complex combination of our thoughts, emotions and actions. So I have to ask, why limit yourself to the identity of the person you think you are today? Sometimes it's better to let go of trying to grasp the meaning behind everything and simply let things be as they are. Just like the nature around us is ever-changing, so is our mind and body. With each passing moment, we are a different person than we were before. Day by day, you don't really notice it, but think of yourself 5 or 10 years back. You're probably completely different now. We are constantly evolving and adapting to new circumstances, so it's crucial to keep an open mind and leave room for exploration. By embracing this dynamic nature of life, 
we open up to endless possibilities of growth and enjoyment. Rather than identifying with a fixed set of characteristics, let go of the boundaries that you have imposed on yourself and allow your identity to evolve and expand naturally. That's how you create the best and most authentic life for yourself. Embrace the idea that you can become better at anything you set your mind to and don't be afraid of new experiences. Never stop learning and exploring, it's what gives life meaning. Genuine curiosity is a beautiful thing. And this is especially important for people in the creative space. If you're an artist, try working with different colors or different sounds. Mix and match something you wouldn't normally consider. Go out of your self-imposed rulebook and just see what happens. You never know where all of this can take you, the endless ways it can inspire and bring the best out of you. And to answer the original question about searching my identity here on YouTube, which honestly supports this all as a great metaphor, I will try my best not to think about it too much and create content that is meaningful to me, just like I did at the beginning. Of course, a style for my videos will naturally develop based on my preferences that show up over time. But it is subject to change, just like me, as I slowly continue to grow up. I need to accept that and not constrain myself to any niche. I need to avoid putting myself in a box. Otherwise, I might have an identity crisis in a few years. I'll just continue exploring. I believe that's how I'll get to my greatest and most fulfilling work yet. And I can only hope that you grow with me and enjoy the journey ahead.